over a leaping Roberts. Shot no good. Weak side rebound. Brennan Wyatt moving left to right for the midshipmen. The sophomore out of Greensboro, North Carolina, and Dudley High. Right side, Sugars. Jordan attacks baseline. Jump stop. Kicks it left side. Avila. JJ wide open three on the way. Bang. Right with the bottom of the cup for JJ Avila. 3 0 Midge at 19 23. Loader up over Roberts. In and out, no good. Avila has the rebound. This is right side for Wyatt. Brennan, secondary break to Avila, looks to swing, goes left side, Isaiah Roberts. Isaiah attacks baseline, kicks it out wide, left side, Avila, open three on the way again. Yes! Great extra pass by Brennan Wyatt to find Avila. If the mids need him to, he did a great job playing some one the other night, creating plays for guys and for himself in the half court. He's been hampered by a knee injury in camp. Sugar's baseline three is good. Mids are off to a blistering pace here, shooting the three early. Columbia, South Carolina, 10-4. That's Altoona's first field goal of the game. Roberts to a cutting, Sugars down low, wide open, layup good. Great job there by Isaiah Roberts, setting it up by penetrating through that gap in the zone. Mids did left side alter to Sugars. Jordan to the elbow to a cutting win all by himself, layup is good. Excellent job by the veteran Sugars, penetrating again in the zone and getting layups. With numbers like you wouldn't believe. And a couple nice changes here to Alumni Hall. New floor, new banners up in the rafters. It looks oh, really nice. The banners look great. Fans will enjoy seeing that over the course of the season this year. Worth Smith finds Avila on the baseline. JJ with a beautiful drive to the bucket. And then they did on Friday night. Avila high post, right side. Worth Smith pulls up for the 16-footer. Got it. The freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina. Wiry at 6'5 and a buck 96. Strong and a nice touch there from 14 12. Pittsburgh over Cincinnati, 24 17. Mids with a baseline inbound. JJ Avila bounces it in for Donye Jackson, the youngster from Calvert Hall. Rises, scores the goal, and he draws the foul. Don to Mercersburg Academy for a prep season a year ago. Fires the free throw. Off back iron, no good. Look at where Smith get up and get the rebound. Knocked it away. Gets it to Jackson from Avila. Donye off the glass for two. And Mike, his athleticism there, the factor because he had a defender in position, but his athleticism enabled him to glide away from the contact. Shot off the backboard. Another Ross controlling right side for Brennan. Brennan cut off by Avila on the baseline. Cutting Harvin, no good, taken away by Alter. Avila lobs ahead, third good, win T good, rises and lays it in. Great soft pass by J.J. Avila, easy to handle for third good win. Take on the Lions out of the Division Three ranks. Near steal by Jackson. Here's a steal by Wynn again. T. Good. Going to take it down. Flush it home with a right hand. Boy, the mids are in the passing lanes doing a short of two three-pointers by Ross for Penn State Altoona. Their defense has been perfect here through ten minutes. Jackson in the short corner with five. Smith left side alter. Pookie wide open. Trey. Bang! He can shoot it up. How about that patience, too? 35 seconds nearly taken off the shot clock. And Kevin hits that nice jump shot. Look at the smile on Ed DeCellis' face on the brother. Jason, of course, led LIU to the NCAA tournament a year ago. It was outstanding. Look at the nice post move by War Smith. Missed it. Carlton Smith, though, with a putback for the mids. Smith and Smith, potential law firm down the road. That time they collaborate for two for the midshipmen at 546. 31 13, the Navy lead. Both of them, though, quick jumpers off the floor going up and getting that re. Torini finds Carlton Smith back up top, Connolly. Teddy to Venturini behind a Smith screen. Deep three right side. Yes, sir. Brandon Venturini's got a stroke like Mike Heary, boys and girls. <laughs> if he's open, it's going in. It's that simple. Still no two-point field goals. Doing a great job of not allowing them to penetrate. Good job. Venturini to Charles Montgomery to see Smith score the goal. And he draws down underneath Montgomery up top. Jordan Brickman wide open three across the rim. No good. C. Smith keeps it alive. Brings it down for himself. Comes up underneath. Got some body contact. No good. Worth Smith is inside. Worth puts it back on with a soft touch and puts it up and in. You said it there, Pete. Soft touch. Worth Smith very impressed with his touch and inside 10, 12 feet. The uniform is so versatile. Jared Smooth, the big man, get ready to come. Uh-oh, highlight film time. Joe Montgomery rocks it down. Boy, did he rise up pretty easy right there, didn't he? Looked like he had springs coming out of those Nikes right there. And that was nothing. That was just kind of a soft one. That was <laughs> NBA-like, even though there, there's no NBA. It was NBA-like. Like, just drop it in. Here's a drop. Brickman, cross-court pass, Venturini. Beautiful ball fake, drives baseline. Smoot goes up. Oh, my goodness. He rocks the rim with two hands. Did you see where he took off from, Mike? <laughs> wow. I didn't expect him to do that. Starters on the floor. Nobody played more than 10 minutes in the first half. 
Wyatt left side, Sugars. Jordan with a jump stop to the baseline. Too strong. Abel, the offensive rebound. Put back is good. Harvin to the front court. To the cutting Nestor underneath. That hit underneath the bottom of the backboard, it looked like. Here's Roberts, three on one to an Avila. Layup, good. Nice execution by Isaiah Roberts there in the three on one break. Find an Avila. At court, looking to throw it over the top of the pressure. Brings it across half court. Isaiah, beautiful crossover move. Lays it up and in. Brennan back to win. Thurgood going to try and take it all the way in. Score the goal, and he draws the foul. It's 16 04. Great job there of the mids of having patience, not falling in love with the first three-point shot, and then driving the basketball. They've done a nice job, and I know it's a focus of coach and the staff is to drive that basketball and get to the free throw line. On the air at 6.45 with all the action. Sugars on the left wing. Navy women getting ready to tip off against UMBC up in Baltimore. Here's Avila with a nice jump hook into the lane. Well, one of the things the mids are focusing on with J.J. Avila is a little more back-to-the-basket game than what you've seen in the past last year with him. So, you know, trying to become more versatile in his play in the paint will be important. Avalo perfect, six for six on the afternoon, and there's the block shot from J.J. A sophomore out of McAllen. It's it back, McKeehan drives, ball knocked away, here comes Thurgood, win the other way, three on two if he hurries. Thurgood, nobody picked him up, nobody stopped the ball, he lays it up and in. First double figure game for his career, he has ten. Thurgood win, it's got some long arms, he's pretty athletic, you know, the, in the interest of trying to figure out the right point guard, he's a good one-two combo guard for the mids that could have a breakout year. Back at Alter was back there. He takes the charge. Avila, Sugars, free for the two-hand flusher. Great pass wow. by J.J. Avila. Boy, Jordan got up too quick. He did. Didn't really realize he could rise with that kind of ferocity. Here's a steal by the mids. Alter coming the other way, two on two with Donye Jackson. Drops it off to a trailing. Lupos James lays it up and in. Great recognition by Alter there on the fast break. Brandon, nice pass on the diagonal. Tip, Joe Jackson comes down with it. Donye forces it up inside off the glass. No good. C. Smith off its rebound, puts it back in with the right hand. Nice hustle play by Carlton Smith being around the basketball. Army Air Force game, and they looked like they were going to win that game against Air Force, yep. and Air Force pulled away late. Jackson with a steal. Donye challenging one on two. Again, left it short. C. Smith hustles down, lays it up and in. That's a lost art running the floor on a fast break. You assume the guy's going to make the layup, and Carlton does a good job of just keep running to the rim. First three from Ross. Again, no good. Look at where Smith rise for the rebound. He's at that size of player, which is the most effective group in this league. Venturini reverse layup on the nice dish from Jordan Brickman. A great tandem right there, Brickman and Venturini. A lot of youth on the floor right now. Maybe that's stolen by Venturini. Mids hustling, making it a three on two. Venturini drops it off. Worth Smith fouled. No call. Rebound, Donye Jackson. Put back is good. They're being plus seven on Friday. So two games in a row where they're a plus rebounding margin. Venturini left wide open right wing. You can book that one. <laughs> That's a free throw for him. That form is textbook. Pass to the corner for Liebert with 10 on the shot clock. A minute six to go in the game clock. Connolly skips it for Montgomery. He goes up, score the goal, and he draws the foul. That's the glimmer of athleticism that Montgomery can display, which I think will get him more and more minutes as the year progresses. I'm assuming the mids will dribble it out here. Jordan Brickman to Smoot. Never mind. Smoot <laughs> will go up and rock the rim. The big 6'10 freshman from Crown Point, Indiana, which automatically makes him Scott Strassmeyer's favorite player because he's from Indiana. <laughs> exactly. Sure, Connolly will just dribble it out of the backcourt of the mids for the fourth time since they joined the Patriot League. will move to 2-0 and on the season. Final score here at Alumni Hall. Navy 88, Penn State Altoona 54. We're back with our post-game show coming up in a moment. This is Navy Basketball on Navy All Access.